Jack and Kelly are in the business of hunting for beetles, but not just any old beetles. We got in the car coming home from school and Mum's like, do you know those beetles that we used to find? We can make $2 off of it for every beetle. I'm like, ooh. Yep, these pretty little creatures are worth a pretty penny. They're calligrapher beetles, also known as cider beetles, and they're actually native to Mexico. They were introduced into the Northern Territory more than 30 years ago to do a very important job, helping to control the spread of this pesky introduced plant. It's called ciderweed, and it's a big problem for farmers in the top end, especially during the wet season, when it grows up to 1.5 metres high and stops livestock from being able to graze on grass. That's where the beetles come in, as a great alternative to harsh chemicals. The calligrapher beetle is the perfect biological control because it only eats cider. So once that cider weed population is, is gone, it doesn't eat anything else, which makes it perfect for the purpose that we're doing. Once Jack and Kelly learned about the beetles, they thought they'd give farmers a hand by collecting them on their own property and selling them in batches. I've always been dreaming of starting my own business. I didn't know that these bugs were worth $2 each. And finding the bugs is pretty easy. They just look out for cider plants. Oh, there's one. Yeah? Yeah. There's a few. Oh, perfect. Yep, there we go. We get the beetles and we collect them in. And then every time we get one, we then use this button to click. And then once we're done, we fill up this bucket of cider weed. And then we put the calligrapher beetles in there and we pass them on to the owners. So far, they've sold around 150 beetles to their neighbours. And after that, it's up to the hungry little insects to do their part. It was astonishing that in a few weeks, a single colony of cider beetles could wipe a bunch of cider and make it into just sticks growing out of the ground. Hmm, a great solution to a problem that's been bugging a whole lot of people.